We're about to embark upon the Wakefield Wheel, which is a 60 km route designated around Wakefield, West Yorkshire, uh, for cyclists. Now, if you've never had a look at the cycle routes, which I, I like to kind of quantify them, and so later on we'll be assessing what the surface is like, whether there are any forced stops, if it's easily navigable. I'm kind of 1% sure that we'll go around, or less than 1% sure that we'll go around and say, wow, that was wonderful, a breeze all the way around. I'm kind of 90% sure that some of it will be very nice, but I'm also, you know, along with that, the caveat that there'll be bits which I'll find intensely frustrating or in four stops, maybe a bit of bad surface, maybe a bit of bad signage, maybe a little bit of danger, maybe some roadside traffic. Uh, all of these count as negatives for a route. Uh, anyway, I hope I turn out and it, it ended up being a lovely day cycling West Yorkshire. Uh, with Andy, who's behind the camera at the moment, we'll be talking to him later on, and if we do talk to him, maybe. And uh, getting his opinions, we'll be taking some photographs on the way around. If you look on the internet, uh, the Wakefield Wheel, there's some, uh, some reviews there which are quite favourable. Uh, people tend to be very nice, I think. <laughs> I like to judge cycle waves by the same criteria you judge a kind of motorway. Uh, so I, if you're sharing a cycle waves with cars, it's not a cycle way, it's a road. And if you've got a stop, it's not really cycle way, it's a footpath. But look, that's me being cynical. Anyway, we're at Charleston, which is in between Wakefield and Featherstone, 60 miles round. Hopefully we'll do it in about four hours, maybe five. I'll take it easy. People boast about doing it in two and a half. Andrew could do it in two, but not me. So let's shake off the flying off blues. Dinner. Okay, Andy. <laughs> what a great cycle route. Nice fun. At the moment, this is the canal. Uh, it's below Altos. And it is quite wonderful. It's six foot wide. It's got the odd hole in the road. It's well surfaced. It's direct. You can tell where you're going. It's beautiful. But my coat is not. <laughs> Although it's quite beautiful, as you can see, behind me, it's certainly not traffic to me, it's certainly not a cycleway, it's a road used by cycles, and this has been here forever, so we call it part of the Wakefield Wheel, we call it, well, just another bit of the belt pen line we saw drawn. If you look at the stuff I had 20 years ago, from 1990 when I was originally doing these things, sorry, from the year 2000, you'll see that Basically, this comes out of a very highly rated piece of road. But it's disingenuous to just call something which is linking up bits which are nice for cycling and call it a cycle route. A cycle route should get from there quickly and safely. And although picturesque, and I really enjoy it here, it's, I would recommend it for anybody. Well, this particular bit would be, yes, a trip out. But regarding the Wakefield Wheel after the first hour, if you live close to it and you've got a mountain bike, hey, go on it, you know, have a look at it, it's quite nice. But I certainly, if you lived in any of the peripheral towns like Pontefract, which are five miles away like I do, or I think any, any amount of towns like that, I'd say, just find a nice near where you live. It's going to be just as good without the ball of actually cycling through places like Featherston with lots of traffic and stuff like that. I know I'm a whinger, but it shouldn't be designated. If this is Wakefield, what Wakefield can be proud of cycling, they should be ashamed of themselves. Rubbish. You know, some of it's really rubbish. This is nice. Right. This is uh, just the kind of low loft house, Stanley. Uh, it's after Stanley Ferry. And it's very nice, apart from the fact that I'm going up a hill a bit and I've not got the right gear in for it, but that was a nice stretch. So you can kind of have a better look at it now. It'd be much nice coming the other way. We've got a path which is four foot wide. I suppose if you're going slowly too, you could ride abreast. But the fact of the matter is, from where this starts to where it ends, and it's basically it started 20 yards ago, uh, it's a nine. Uh, of course, when it meets the road, it's not the cars who have to give way to the bikes, it's the bikes who have to give way to the cars. Uh, but between places, this is nice. 
and that's going the other way. And this is quite excellent. This is the uh, western side of the M1, beyond Garthorpe, and there's a bit of a descent from the village along this farm track, and uh, there's some very, very nasty, very dangerous runnels. A uh, very good example of one here going slowly up the hill, but you can imagine going down, there's actually little escape from that if you hit it wrong. Uh, that's not just kind of a bummer, it's very dangerous. Uh, this should not be qualified as anything but an off-road dirt track, it's not a cycleway. Uh, other ones where the track is constantly bad, I mean look at this, even going up I've got to let go of this camera now and thread my way through and it's practically a stream bed, so very dangerous. So this is approximately halfway from Charleston, uh, within Osset, and nice nice clay and sandwich from Paxman High the Speciality. And this kind of route is panning out more than exactly as I thought it would, and that some of it has been really excellent, very good, um, specifically coming out of Stanley. Uh, some bits have been very frustrating, long diversions for those short distance, for example being at Normanton and at the canal at Altofts. Uh, obviously if you want to cycle on the canal, you go to cycle on the canal shop. Uh, it's frustrating being sent half a mile one way and half a mile the other way when you can just cross over. Uh, then again, maybe I'm rushing around too much. Uh, some of it's damn dangerous, uh, specifically coming into Osset on this farm track we've just been on. Um, with a little bit of uh, care and attention it could be made much better. Well, yeah, actually no, it needs quite a lot of care and attention to make it what I call uh, a, a cycleway. If you are going to go for a bike ride, if you live near this, so far, this half, yeah, go, go on it, I mean, explore it, it's, it's, it's okay, but I wouldn't say it's significantly different or a great improvement on your own favourite cycle ride near your own house, uh, on quiet roads and farm tracks, and at least you'll know what bike to get. This is the wrong bike, Andrew's, uh, Andrew's thrown the towel in, as it were, don't blame him because he's on a narrow, and it's not suitable for that's about your limit, this, this Doors Galaxy, what you can take on it. Anything else, you're going to break the wheels, quite honestly. Uh, yeah, recommendation. Take a bike ride near your own house, sort your own route out, because it's no more, not, probably not much less than that, neither. A couple of good bits to redeem it. Uh, it's a day out, I guess. Claire was nice. Crigleston, just like I pictured it, skyscraper and everything. So, almost two thirds of the way there, since the last bit of film, I've done perhaps 10, 12 kilometers. Yeah, I look over my shoulder and up the next hill, that's Osset, that's where I've come from. And since Osset, Basically, it's been like this. I've not been able to, it's been, you know, it's been busy traffic wise. There's been some canal which has been nice, but that's the canal path, you go on those anyway. It's fucked. This is really fucked. <laughs> so, it's just an ordinary, ordinary, very, very ordinary road. 
no biggie at all. A million of these. This is uh, the nicest part of the route. 45 kilometers into it. And this is a solid nine. Solid nine for about two or three kilometers from the the Barnsley Road, Wakefield to somewhere near Waterton Park. This is what so, I don't know, is it an eight? Is that six is that two meters wide? It's plenty comfortable enough to cycle to abreast, so it's the friable surface. Nice. This is what I like. But I could have come straight here from Charleston. <laughs> The Wakefield Wheel, summary. Good things, bad things. Good things, it's outdoor. Some of it's pretty. Uh, yeah, some of it, it's a nice bike ride, some of it is a nice bike ride. Bad things. Well, trying to be objective, I have a rating system to prevent me dishing stuff out of hand. And uh, I'm going to go through it here. Now, breaking up into smaller bits, the, the Wakefield wheel would score, some, some parts of it would score very highly on this. It's a maximum of 10 and some bits that's close to a 9. If not a nine, uh, hack back a few of the bushes at each side and you, 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 you're getting almost there. So, uh, the surface. Now, a chain's only strong as its weakest link, so I judge the weakest parts. And I would say for a metal surface you get two, for a friable surface you get one, for no surface you get zero. Uh, Well, there's places half. There were some very dodgy, friable surfaces around there, so a half. I don't think there was any place where there wasn't a surface at all. Having said that, straight away when you see the pictures of the kind of railway bath, that was worse than nothing. Almost. Give it a half, grudgingly. Width, less than a metre, yeah, lots of places less than a metre, zero points. Traffic, more than 10 cars an hour? Yep, zero points. Stops, M4 stops? Yep, M4 stops on there, zero points. Navigability, I can't even say it. Confusion in route? Equals zero. Yes, there was confusion in the route. I was actually quite surprised when Andrew left me how I managed to blag my way around the route, but a couple of times I went amiss. Not disastrously, but I know by Kettlethorpe, I was thinking, if I didn't know the area very well, if I didn't know Kent was New Miller Dam that way, I'd have been seriously worried, and there was no signposting at the T-junction at the top there, so... And, yeah, some of it was completely counterintuitive. Zero points. Route. If there is a fast alternative route, zero. If the route is the fastest route, one. Well... There is fast alternative routes to get from Charleston to Charleston, or between any two points on that particular map, so zero on the route. Score, well, it scores a half. I would imagine that there'll be road routes incorporating bits of this which would be more enjoyable, in that you could actually take a road bike on it and nip round. It took me four and a half hours just to do it a few meters under 60 kilometers uh, my advice would be if you're going to use it yeah go and have a go at bits of it especially the bits by Waterton Park and uh, out towards New Miller Dam they're, they're terrific and uh, the, the climb out to Stanley that's that's nice as well uh, as an entity it doesn't work it's a few very mediocre to moderate to a couple of good cycle routes cobbled together 
they're haphazardly, it's inconsistent in the surfacing, uh, they are not direct, uh, and they're not a place to take a, a decent bike, which uh, I think if you're going to build a cycle route, yeah, you, you know, they should call it something different, they should call it the, the Wakefield Mountain Bike Circular or something. Uh, it's so frustrating to be on the road for an hour and look over your shoulder and see a church which you were at <laughs> next to the hour before. Uh, but I enjoyed some of it. What I don't enjoy is the tokenism of it. It, 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 it. Wakefield Met and the local cycle forum should not be holding this up as a, a badge of honour. Not at this time. A uh, First things to do, get rid of the cyclist dismount sign. Get rid of the, uh, the, the the places where you've got to get off your bike to carry up some steps or something like that. And get rid of all the stupid, stupid, stupid gates. I mean, it's one thing being a second class citizen and being given substandard surfaces and routes. It's another thing entirely to have those routes blocked because of bad citizens who don't use bicycles. Deal with the bad citizens. You won't tell people to wear bloody bulletproof vests if there was a gun problem in Wakefield, you'd solve the flipping gun problem. And if people are going to ride motorbikes on there, it's very easy to keep, kick police because they can just confiscate the bikes. It takes two of those at Arbury and that's your bike problem ended for another year and a half. And then the police have got nothing to think about until a year later when somebody else has a bright idea of buying the kid a bloody quad bike or something. Um, so, yeah, if you're, if you're five or ten miles away from the route, I'm, I'm sure you can find perfectly good alternatives uh, of, to, 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 to the Wakefield wheel. Uh, could be... I'm not sure how much it would take to make it half decent. Surfaces, once you got rid of the gates, then you talk about something. You know, and this is Wakefield's premier cycle route, and I don't know how many junctions there were with traffic, but if there were a hundred of them, the cycle has to give away a hundred times. That's a bit like being told to sit at the back of the bus if you're a nigger, and we shouldn't really be accepting it. By all means, go and try parts of the, 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 the Wakefield wheel, but I wouldn't do it all. If you've got to go 60 kilometres, hell's bells, go to York and back via Kaywood. You know, it's, it's more enjoyable. Hello, Malibu. Anyway, well earned rest. I'm getting too old for this kind of shit. Ooh.